Imagine knowing a programming language using which you can build any type of application. Web application, front-end, back-end, both, mobile application, desktop application, and even for machine learning. And that language I'm talking about is JavaScript. So using JavaScript, you can build all these applications. Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's get started. So we are talking about JavaScript and finally I'm starting a series on JavaScript. So first of all, what is JavaScript? Now JavaScript is a programming language which you can use to develop any kind of application which we named before. But then it didn't start in that way. In 1995 when JavaScript was released, it was for a different purpose. It has a different history. Again, we'll talk about the history of JavaScript so that we can predict, predict the future and we'll discuss that in a separate video. But let's talk about 1995. When JavaScript came into existence, it was mainly for the web front end. Example, in 1993, when websites were getting famous, everyone wanted to have their own website. But the only way you can interact with a website is one way. So basically, you request for a page and watch you get a static content. Uh, of course you can design it but then you do you can't interact with that application every time if you, if you want to move between pages you have to use hyperlinks so basically that website was not interactive and if you want to keep your audience engaged you have to make it interactive so netscape came up with this programming language called javascript with the help of sun microsystem and they released javascript in their netscape navigator 2 so that's awesome right we got a programming language, but that was only for the web front end, just to make your web application interactive. And for many years, it was that way. I mean, the moment you think about JavaScript, the only, only use case you can find is building the front end of the web application. But then things got changed. Now you can use JavaScript anywhere. The reason is JavaScript was easy and we have so many people working on this language. So they thought, hey, instead of using JavaScript only for web application, can we use it for building the backend of web as well? Maybe we can use it for mobile application, maybe we can use it for desktop application, or maybe we can use it for machine learning. And that's where they started using JavaScript everywhere. They were able to do it because of the engine. So every browser will be having a JavaScript engine. So the reason you are able to run the application, of course, we'll see that in the practical but you can run any JavaScript code on the browsers because it has an engine. Just take that engine, make, make sure that engine runs on the hardware or the OS which you have. Basically, you can run JavaScript on your OS now or on your machine, right? So just to give you a hint that is possible with the help of Node.js. So Node.js is a runtime environment. Imagine a place where you can run JavaScript. Basically, if you have that stuff, Anywhere, maybe a mobile application, desktop application, machine learning, you can run it. That's the power of JavaScript. Now this course is not designed in a normal fashion or the traditional fashion. So the moment you talk about JavaScript, everyone want to learn about the HTML DOM elements and how do you change the data on the HTML page because that's how JavaScript came into existence, right? Now that's not the reason why I'm making this playlist. For me, I want to treat JavaScript as a programming language not only for the web front end, okay? See, there's no harm in learning JavaScript for the web and then move towards other aspects, but it's tricky, right? Once you move from front end to back end, you may not be comfortable. So I will start this series running JavaScript directly on the machine, okay? So that we will not learn JavaScript only for web, but in a proper way so that you will understand JavaScript from start to end. Of course, we will be using that for front end in between. We will be using for, let's say, we will talk about how can we use it for other purposes as well. But the idea is to learn JavaScript from start to end. Okay, now coming back to JavaScript, JavaScript is actually one of the most famous programming language nowadays. And if you go to Google and search for top five programming language, doesn't matter which article I'm talking about, check the first 10 links, they will mention JavaScript in top five. Someone, someone might say one or two or three or four or five. You will see JavaScript there. Okay, I've not done that research, but I'm quite sure JavaScript is that famous. Why is because you can make applications on 
any platform, right? And most of the websites, in fact, uh, as for Wikipedia, 97% of the websites are using JavaScript for their client side. So you don't have an option, right? So we have a different history. We have some awesome facts. Okay, so in the series, we also talk about some facts. Example, let me give you one fact. Uh, if you know JavaScript, and if you have been working on JavaScript, so I want to know in the comment section, who owns the trademark for JavaScript? Okay, pause the video, comment your answer. So let me give you the answer. It's Oracle. Okay, so there is a huge history behind JavaScript and it's interesting. So we'll talk about that as well. I hope you are excited for this series. Uh, I want to make sure that you learn from start to end, but you have to make sure that you also practice. It's a programming language, right? You, you can't just look at the video and you can you will remember everything. You have to practice. Practice makes you perfect. Okay, so every time you watch a video, do it on your machine. I would also suggest that you change the code, do some experiments and that's how you go. So that's it from this video. I hope you're excited. Hit that like button if you want to enjoy the series and also make sure that you comment how excited you are about the series. Bye.